hey guys do you know that you can actually use uh, if you have an iphone 10 or above then you can use the cameras of your iphone these cameras very high resolution ones as your webcam for your macbook as well without any wiring or any extra software and uh, just uh, plug and play type all you have to do actually is just uh, put it on a stable position in a horizontal or vertical mode uh, usually horizontal because that's the way webcams work like this and that's it i use this clip uh, it can easily be found online you can also use uh, uh, a tripod or you can just put it here if you're not interested in buying anything and it will still work all you have to do is just put it in on a stable position in a landscape mode in a locked mode it should be locked it should not be unlocked okay these are the requirements and for the software requirements you need to have ios 16 the mac os ventura uh, iphone 10 or, or above and you're good to go let's first go to facetime it has already detected that my iphone is attached and you can see that it is showing me this video that you are seeing right now is coming from uh iphone camera if we go to the video setting you can see it is saying remise iphone camera remise is my name iphone is obviously my iphone if i switch back to the normal you can see the blurry face and everything and uh, if go back to this it, my face becomes more clear the colors are more accurate you can also select it has also selected the Rami's iphone camera so the iphone the camera both are being used from this one okay and if let's go to the next application which is zoom uh zoom is also used widely especially for professional people let me go to its preferences then let's go to the video and let me just show you this is the webcam of my macbook and if you don't know the macbook cameras are actually very low resolution like still 720p at least uh, before them two stuff so let me switch back to my iphone camera see so it is more wider more clear picture high resolution better colors same is the case with the audio uh where is i can yeah i can select the iphone camera and you can use it the more high resolution one okay and now the third application that is used the most is google's meet so let's go to that meet.google.com let me start a new instant meeting there is a tiny ding dong bell type content and that gives you shows you that it has already detected so right now this video that you are seeing is coming from my iphone uh, if the iphone is in this position all it, it becomes the default camera so microphone it is has already selected my iphone as microphone let's go to the camera section and let me go back to the facetime this is the 720p camera of my macbook pro and you can see the face is blurred there is a noise even though there are lots of light here studio lights it is still uh, is showing me like i am sitting in a bit darker environment so let's go to the video let's switch back to the main camera of the iphone and see my how clear my face is like i can even see the pores of my face and the dark spots on my face everything so it is extremely clear and uh, one last thing that i wanted to share before we go is these video effects here. so if you go to the control panel there is this video effects tab right here you can see your iphone's camera which is at 96 percent right now and there are three three uh, different options center stage portrait desk view center stage is when it keeps you in the center like this see now i am in the center but it uses the ultra wide camera so there will be a bit of uh, quality loss because it zooms in uses ultra wide and then zooms in so there is a uh, quality loss so let's go back to the main camera now use the portrait 
the background becomes blurry so it, it uses the iphone to blur the your background instead of native any application portrait let's disable that and the last my favorite feature is desk view let me prepare it First. here comes the desk view you can adjust it accordingly see like how much space it should take whether you want to extend the desk zoom in whatever you can adjust it like now i have adjusted it let's go to the desk mode hello like you can see show something here like hey look at my watch uh, so look at my nails or something like that i mean just show anything from here like look at this see so this is the desk mode let's switch out of it so center stage desk mode portrait mode all are features that you can access from control panel they will appear once on the iphone is put on top and you are in a video meeting environment so use your iphone camera whenever you can use a uh, finger holder like i am using you should be able to do the video call anywhere anytime and be look more professional uh, even in doing personal meetings you can show things more clearer so, yeah i want you to really sh uh, share this information let me switch back to the main camera all right uh, so we are back to the main camera this one so now i have uh, used it with three applications you can uh, you saw that how seamless the experience was and i I'm, uh, I'm i'm a tech a software engineer myself but i have to say i'm impressed by this seamless connectivity of the iphone with the mac i will leave the li link to buy this clip in case you are wondering where you can buy this one i will leave the link to buy this one in my video description and uh, yeah please do share your feedback let me know uh, what you think of it i hope this was informative for you or for anyone who watches my video so yeah let me know take great care of yourself bye